name is Keith. Uh, I enrolled in San Francisco State to study studio art, um, sort of generally, and discovered printmaking one among the curriculum and uh, pretty much was hooked as soon as I tried it. There are lots of different types of printing. Most uh, conventional t-shirts and things like this are printed uh, through a process called silkscreen. Numerous forms of digital printing are still alive and well. Everything that you see printed from warning labels to billboards, advertisements on buses, t-shirts, anything that is produced in duplicate is a print. Hello, my name is Lexi and I go to Skyline College and I also work as a receptionist at a salon. My boyfriend was studying it at SF State and once he figured out how to do it pretty well he showed all of our friends how to do it and we were pretty hooked on it immediately just because it's so fun. I asked him if he could uh, demonstrate the process for us and then once he showed us how to do it I think I was hooked in so many ways. Wood block printing is ancient and you can do it with anything that is generates a thick enough pigment to apply to something that can be carved. My name is Roisin Madden. I work as a teacher. Um, I teach 9th through 10th, 12th grade and I work at Oceana High School. For the most part at getting started it's really easy and uh, if you start with linoleum it's especially easy because you don't have the issue of carving something that's stiff. Sometimes it takes practice to use the knives and to kind of figure out your own technique. We have a couple of different shapes of knives here. We have sort of a standard knife, which is um, pretty similar in shape to like a basic X-Acto blade or maybe a scalpel or something like that. There's different types of gouges. A gouge is sort of a like half cylindrical shaped tool that makes like a channel or cuts a channel. Sizing paper is a very important part of printmaking. Something that by definition makes a print a print is that it is as similar to the next print as possible. Size it quickly. So now here I'm applying these little plastic tabs which we will later affix to the metal registration tabs so that I can roll it uh, under the press and make sure that everything stays in place. Well we do relief printing so we use relief ink. Typically we use oil based relief ink but we also have water based ink which is good because it's easier to clean up. Mixing ink is a fairly simple thing. Um, Oil-based ink uh, is usually a little bit thicker than maybe oil or acrylic paint. Um, it's just very, very heavily pigmented, but uh, it's pretty rich and nice looking stuff. Western practice, ink is applied with a roller. Um, in a lot of Japanese printing practice, uh, ink is actually applied with a big brush. Put the felts down on the press. This is important because if you don't put felts on your press, you risk cracking your plate if it's wood or simply squishing your plate flat. If it's linoleum, you can literally squeeze all of the details out of your plate on a lino plate if you don't use felts and if your pressure is too high. Using felts will minimize the chance of that happening. You can also damage your press, and presses are very expensive. how much money you're willing to put into it, but if you don't have a lot of money to do that, like me, I'm not 
really rich at all, but I'm still able to do all the projects um, pretty cheaply. I really enjoy the process. I like kind of just thinking about what image I'm going to make and draw it out. And then the carving, I think, is really soothing in a way. I think what's neat about it is that, you know, your ink is $10 a pot, uh, your knives are maybe seven fifty each, and the linoleum, is the other thing about linoleum is it's really cheap. The printing's awesome, I think it works too. something that was a lot more popular before and people have just kind of forgot about it and I think if more people got into it um, and began to appreciate it more I think that would be fun.